guys this is yet another reading vlog it's um monday april the 6th and i've decided to do another reading vlog because apparently i really like to do these ones and they are quite fun to edit so yeah i decided why not so you're gonna come along with me while i read chain of gold so yeah finally um this one so um as i've mentioned in previous vlogs um I was stuck in chapter 7 of this book, really not enjoying it, so I decided to start all over again as if I didn't know anything about the book and see if I do like it because I really wanted to like this book because I love Shadow Hunters, I love Cassandra Clare and yeah, so let's see how the reading of this one goes, I'll update you uh, bit by bit, so yeah, that's all I have to say for now, so uh, talk to you uh, in a couple of days or in a bit when I read some parts of the book. So, bye -bye. Hey guys, so, so far um, I have read up until where I was and then a bit more. So I am uh, on chapter 11, page 276. And yeah, my opinion is still the same. I am disappointed by this book. I am bored and I am shocked that ha that I mean, how to say this in a nice way? That's not so hate, so much hate, but I mean, it's not hate. It's just that I'm so extremely disappointed that, yeah. So, how can Tessa and Will's offsprings be so fucking boring? I said it. Yeah, like I like Lucy better than James. Um, I think she's more dynamic, and I think she's gonna be quite interesting. But she hasn't really had that many page time. Whereas um, Cordelia, who really, really annoys me, gets a ton of uh, space in the book. And James is so plain, so dull, so boring. Whereas Matthew is so interesting, so much fun. In fact, I think Matthew should be Will's son because their personalities are quite similar in a way they're funny they're witty and yeah i think matthew belongs with we whereas um james being as he's so you know uh he belongs more with charlotte because he's like more serious even though he's more impulsive if if you please but yeah yeah i'm, I'm how can Will and Tessa offspring be so boring? I, I mean it. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be reading more for today. Uh, but who knows? Uh, it will. Every, everything will be depend uh, depending whether they put SWAT on the TV or not today. Um, I don't know. If they put it, I might watch it. I might have to watch it alone because as the people who put the voices in the Spanish... Uh, are not working as none of us are um i don't know if they have uh, put the voices in this episode or not and um, my parents doesn't like to watch uh tv and original version so yeah so if uh, i cannot watch swat uh, i'll probably read some more or watch lucy but i don't know yet but yeah that's my opinion so far of the book um still disappointed by it <laughs> Hey guys, it's 12 something and I read two more chapters of Jane of Holt. Uh, definitely, I am not liking it. Um, yeah, I'm so extremely, extremely disappointed by this book. Um, I don't find that it's entertaining, as entertaining as it should be. And uh, I really don't care for the characters. There was what I think it's gonna be a major plot twist at the end of the chapter I just read but like I just don't care like there's this plot twist and I'm stopping waiting and going to bed because I'm not that invested into the story and that has never ever happened to me when uh, I was reading a Sala Hunter's book so yeah definitely uh, yeah disappointed by this one so I'm gonna go to sleep now and yeah, and tell you how my reading progress is when I read some more Chain of Cool. Hey guys, I haven't just finished working for today. It's um, the day after Monday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, and I'm about to start reading for the day. 
uh, but first I'm gonna be like uh, preparing the video that's supposed to go up uh, tomorrow and yeah I'm gonna do that and then I will go into chain of gold as I am not interested on it in the slightest what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat myself so I am also reading a uh, wolf gone wild I don't remember the author uh, that is the Woos and Books book club pick for this month and I'm so hooked to that one so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna reward myself and I'm gonna be reading um, two chapters of um, Chain of Gold and then one of the other book and so on so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so if I have a reward system on, plan on place I might finish the book faster because yeah I'm not inclined at all to read it because the book is taking my life away slowly really really slowly it's so boring so yeah that's what's up so I'm gonna uh, get the video ready to be uploaded and afterwards I uh, read so talk to you in a bit when I read some chair of food. bye bye Okay, so I made it to the second part of the book and I am still not interested on it in the slightest. So yeah, <laughs> this is like so disappointing because I do really, really love Shadow Hunters and I think there might be something going on, but I just don't see it. Like, I feel like when I was first reading book four of The Mortal Instrument, that was like a bridge book to me, like a book that felt necessary to bring the story to the next level, but it was so boring to read. And I feel this is the same that's happen happening to me with this book. And yeah, I'm just so disappointed by it. And I am sad that I'm not enjoying it. This was... Uh, my most anticipated book release of the entire year with the exception of um, The Doors of Stone but apparently that has been pushed back until 2021 so this was my most anticipated release of the year and I am so 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 extremely disappointed by it so yeah but I only have second part left to finish it let's see things in the bright side the more I read the closest I am to the ending of the book so yeah, um, I don't think I'll be reading more today. I'm gonna go to the living room and watch some telly and I'll read tomorrow. I think I can finish this between tomorrow and Thursday, but what I do is that as I'm not interested, uh, I do read two chapters and then do something else and that stuff. I am on chapter 15 now, so the book has... Mm, 23 chapters so if I read five chapters tomorrow and then leave uh, three plus the epilogue for the next day I can finish it but yeah I'll have to find a better reward system because not even reading the book I am interested in is like making me want to go and read this book. I don't know if it's because I'm not in the mood for reading. Maybe if I read this book at any other time, it would have been better, but I am in the mood for reading. I do want to read, and I am in fact enjoying the book I'm reading, uh, Wolf Gone Wild, if I haven't mentioned it. And yeah, I think is the fact that I don't like the book. And I'm so sorry to say this, uh, so far, and. I mean, I think this is going to be an unpopular opinion. I've been so good at avoiding opinions and everything about this book that I don't know what the ratings are or what's everyone else thinking about it. But if I'm being honest, this is a two-star book. And yeah, it's a two-star book, 2.5 at most. So yeah, I'll let you know uh, if the second part is better when I read it. Uh, but so far, not, 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 uh, no. So yeah. I'd have to do when I read some more that time. Hey guys, um, I'm back. So it's around nine. I have just finished working. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be reading a chapter of Chain of Code because as you know, I'm really loving the book, right? And <laughs> I'm gonna be reading a chapter. Um, then I'm gonna go and watch some telly. And uh, then I will give it a push tomorrow uh, when I wake up 
so yeah I think I have like 200 or 300 pages left yeah I have uh, a little bit over 200 pages left uh, I'm just entering um, the second part and I talked with a friend today and she told me that uh, it gets better but she was disappointed with James too so yeah I'm not the only one I'm not alone so yeah um, I'm gonna read chapter now and then let you know uh, all my thoughts and feelings about the chapter and then I will keep reading tomorrow because yeah we all know I'm uh, very motivated to keep reading this book so yeah and fun fact I'm doing another reading vlog uh, which is uh, the one for the Easter holidays so it's gonna be a bit longer and the thing is uh, they're gonna be overlapping so I might get confused so yeah <laughs> well anyhow I'm gonna go read my chapter now and if I read a bit uh, later, I'll let you know too. So yeah, bye bye. Hi, I'm talking really low because in my house you're already sleeping. Um, it's later, way later. And I've read one chapter of Chain of Gold. And I mean, it has a bit that it's kind of interesting, but not really. So yeah, I'm not gonna read more Chain of Gold for today. But I'm gonna read a bit more. So yeah, that's your day. I've read one chapter and still not liking the book. Yeah, that's all. So now I'm gonna go and do something else or maybe go to sleep. Good morning, guys. Um, it's uh, half past one, I think. Or if it's not the time, it's around that time. And I haven't started reading yet. So I think we're seeing a tendency in here in which I think I'm gonna read a lot and then I don't. But um, I've been doing chores around the house, so it was for a good cause. So yeah, um, I haven't read uh, any further into Chain of Gold, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna try to go ahead and finish this one today. I have that much left, so I think it's manageable if I'm not bored <laughs> by the book, which, you know, as we know, so far I am. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try it between today and tomorrow, but if it's today, way better. So I'm gonna go ahead now and read. Um, maybe it's gonna be more interesting now, because the ending of the last chapter I read was like more hooking and interesting, but not really. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive into this one. So I'll update you when I've read some more. I am still reading Chain of Gold and I've done what I do uh, to be productive so I put like a timer on the phone and set it outside until it like uh, rang and told me yeah it's time I gave myself an hour and a half which is something okay uh, you know we're gonna have a usually would do it like 130 pages I haven't finished the book yet I'm still bored though last chapter I read which was chapter 20 was considerably more entertaining than the rest of the book. Um, it had a bit of uh, action, which is what I was missing on this book. So yeah, um, still bored, still not interesting, interested in the book. But hey, at least let's see things in the bright side. I only have chapter 21, chapter 22, chapter 23, and then the epilogue, and I will be done with it. And then I um, also have um, the story about Will's, Will and Dessa's wedding. Uh, but yeah, um, eventually I will reach the end of Chain of Gold. So yeah, but nevertheless, I'm excited to read uh, the short story at the back of the book. So I will make an effort. So yeah, back to it. I made it. I made it. I made it to the end of this book. Um, I'm extremely disappointed by it. Uh, I was hoping this is going to be a five star read and it's not. It's definitely not. Um, towards the end, the last chapters did get better, but I'm still extremely annoying, annoyed by many of the characters. And so, yeah, overall, um, I think I'm gonna give this one three stars because, yeah, it was boring. It took a long time and nothing really happened. Um, I don't know if I have said this on the channel, but um, I had the same feelings uh, with book four of the Mortal Instruments. I didn't reach to see the title from here to where it is, but yeah, book four of the Mortal Instruments, which was a book that it felt like a bridge to 
bring the story forward, like to establish everything. This book felt like that, but more boring. Um, I did not like James. Uh, who I'm guessing is someone I'm supposed to like, but he's so dull and so boring and he's extremely, extremely annoying. Um, his sister on the other side, Lucy, she's great, I love her, and I wish she was the main character. I think it would be much more interesting. And I don't like um, Cordelia either. Um, she's, I mean, probably an unpopular opinion, I haven't checked the reviews yet. Um, She's extremely stupid, and I'm sorry for saying this. Um, yeah, and Matthew, he's my favorite. I love him. He's so much fun, and he's so tortured. And yeah, he's the most interesting character. I think, I think I've said this before, but I think Matthew ought to be Will's son, whereas James ought to be um, son of someone else, uh, maybe Charlotte, because he's like more... Um, I mean, this is gonna sound weird because he's not really, but he's more uh, focused and yeah, he's, he's really annoying. Uh, there is something that happens towards the end that makes me not like him even more. And... Oh, Alicia just sent me a review. So anyhow, um, yeah, um, did not really enjoy this book. I'm disappointed. It was an overall like entertaining if you know what i mean i mean it's a boring book for me at least but as i was uh, reading about the shadow hunters it's okay i guess but yeah overall i'm disappointed by this book and i'm i'm sad i will still read uh, keep reading the books because you know i haven't read um, 17 books or 16 or how many there are out just to stop reading now that there there's only this one and the other trilogy uh left but yeah maybe there's more short stories coming uh our way but i haven't read like almost 20 books for nothing so yeah uh, i will keep reading just to know how the story of the shadow hunters ends but yeah i'm extremely extremely disappointed by this one so yeah, on the bright side, I did read this story about Wills and Tessa's wedding, which like brightened my day and yeah, it put me in a good mood despite having read a humongous book that I was not like really, really having so much fun reading. So yeah, done with this one and this is the end of this uh, reading book. So I hope you have enjoyed it and let me know what have you think of this book. Let me know if I'm alone in my feelings of extremely disappointment or if uh, you think like I do. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.